بیا و تا شقی از سر بگیری Hey people, so I am going to add a little bit of an extension to the previous workshop. Um, so you've got that beautiful six pointed curved star and I'm going to show you how to weave that as a trilogy. You can um, obviously weave all seven of them, which would be a beautiful design, but I'm just going to show you just take a little section out and show you how three of them can join together. I really actually like the trilogy. It looks nice on its own. So that's it there. And I'll show you a little bit of shading and so forth. And when I'm doing this myself at home, I always have a rough copy, especially with the weaves, before I move on to it in finer pencil. Um, and I'm really delicate with the line work so I get it as accurate as I can and that way on my rough I can sketch out where the unders and the overs are and then I use that as a reference for my final design. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is start creating our first foundation uh, for our pattern. So that's it there, that will be our design. And this is going to be our first layer. So, grab a piece of paper and we will need a horizontal line. So I've actually marked, I'm working with A3 and I've marked a little bit lower than the halfway mark just so this will fit nice, nice on the, nicely on the page. And then mark 21 in, so it's on the center. Now I'm going to use a five centimeter radius. So always mark on the horizon. Five. We're gonna draw a circle in the center. And then we're going to do two more circles, one from each side. So on the left and also on the right, keeping the compass the same measurement. So that's one, two and three circles. Now we're going to create another couple of circles from the tops, tops, the tips of these bisects. So let's go again. Keeping the compass radius the same, one and two. So we've got three on the bottom, two on top. And then my next is just going to be at north, where these two circles intersect. And you'll have what looks like a triangle. Now, just so I can show you as a reference, Note that I have my points here and here, which are these points. I'm missing two here and also around the edges of these bottom circles. Now we need to make some points so we can create our six pointed stars. Now all you need to do is swing. I'm going to swing from left and right on the top here and I'm going to just swing down and around like that. Repeat on the other side. So you can actually count. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six points. Now we have to do it on the bottom here. Let's check if our original horizon was correct. Yes. swing and we'll go back and swing from there as well so swing up lovely and repeat on the bottom here swing down doesn't matter if you go off the page a little bit this is all just empty empty area and swing around to the 
horizon again. So now you will have all your six points of reference. And we can move on to some construction lines. So let's start to put in our six pointed stars. Now let's do our verticals first. So I'm going to work from the left towards the right. That point to there is a vertical line. Let's pop it in. And let's slide our ruler across. Our next vertical is going to run through those larger petals here. Slide it across. And you've got a fourth on the end. Now let's go from the bottom left to the top right. So this point to here. And again we're just going to slide the ruler up and it's going to go to the bottom right hand corner. Be as accurate as you possibly can. That line should go right through the center here. Slide your ruler up. So from that point to the horizon on the right. And another at the top. So they all should be parallel, equal distance apart. And then let's go bottom right towards top left. So repeat the same process. And one more at the top. And you should have one, two, three, six pointed stars. Wonderful. Next step, remember that we have to split these up so that there's six sections in the center here as well. So these are our hexagrams. There's a hexagon in the center there. Let's divide it up into six. So let's go bottom left towards the right, so just this point to here, just slicing it in half. And we can do these two collectively. Wonderful. I'm just going to highlight that horizon. Do the top one as well. and then go the other direction. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. They should all be in six. And when they are, perfect. You can put your pencil down for now. Okay, so for my next step, remember to mark these intersections like we did in the first pattern. So we'll work on the bottom left circle first. So just mark all those little points. It's nice to have them as a reference, it does really help. So Remember in the first class, we stretched our radius out to that length to swing over to the opposite side. So we're just going to repeat the same process, but what I'd like to do is extend the radius out a little bit more. So I'll just show you. 
Notice how obviously this is quite thick. So what I've actually measured out is 0.5 on the left and 0.5 on the right. So you're actually doing two sets of lines. So grab your ruler. I'm going to, from this center point, just mark 0.5 and 0.5 on both sides. Now, we're going to do the larger first. So, stretch it out to that point. So that point there. And same process, you're going to swing to the opposite side. Note that you do swing over, you want it to swing onto the horizon. So I'm just going to change my pen to a darker pen so you can see it a little bit better. Great. And then what do we do? We go to the next around clockwise. For this one, just aim for over midway. Keep repeating that around. And remember, it will eventually meet up and they will join. So it's joined on the left and it's joined on the right. Take your time, obviously, no rush. Beautiful. Now because we have our radius in that measurement already, we're going to go to the next circle on the right. So just make sure you highlight those points. Start from north. And swing. And then when it meets up, you get this cute little shape in the center. And now let's move on to our third circle at north. Make sure you mark those six points at the intersections. Okay, and you should have that little shape in the center here. If you don't, it means you're missing a line. Okay, so we're going to repeat that, but we're going to drop the radius down. Now remember at the beginning I said mark 0.5 on each of the left and the right on the horizon.
So I'm just going to change colours again so you can see this properly. I'm going to stretch it from north down to that measurement and you repeat. Swing to the opposite side. And it should join, you should get this beautiful wave happening. Repeat on the other side. Lovely. And let's do the last one. So start from north. And you're done. You are now ready to shade. Now I'll be putting some photos up in the file sharing um, section on the website so you can actually follow the overs and unders by just visually looking at my drawing and I am also going to do it here for you as well. So again, like I always say, take your time. I'm going to start highlighting this beautiful design. زمین و کوه و دشت و باغ و جهان را همه در حال اخزن Zedele ma ham rah del ba 